getting a little bit dark out here. It's a little darker than I had uh, anticipated. I was going to open up the packages that I have out here. Is my beard weird or what? Weird beard? Ain't that a, that's a garage or something. Weird beard garage. Anyway, um, I've got packages here. I've got one from uh, Delicious. If you guys don't know who Delicious is, dude's been in the community for... Uh, in the in the ration community, the MRE community, for probably, I'm going to say, seven years probably, roughly. At least, for sure, six. Um, he was on MRE Info before I was. Uh, he made YouTube videos before I did. So, I'm pretty sure he did. I'd have to check. I'm pretty sure. Anyways, uh... You guys, if you don't know who he is, there's a link right at the top of the description. You get, should go support his channel because, honestly, I've had nothing but good experiences with him. Um, he's a found amazing international rations that nobody else has been able to find throughout the years. Horny Animal, what's up? Uh, hope you have a good week. Well, thank you for that super duper chat. Horny Animal coming in with, uh, with the super chat right off the bat. <laughs> I really do appreciate that. Uh, didn't expect it, and uh, thank you so much. Um, you threw me off. Where was I? Uh, which is a good thing. <laughs> I just lost my train of thought there for a second. Uh, so I didn't get to live stream last week. Um, if you guys, if you guys paid any attention to uh, to the old YouTubes around, uh, let's see. I think it was Saturday. Saturday was the 4th of July, was it not? I don't know. Maybe it was Sunday. I can't remember. Anyways, it was the 4th of July. And uh, I got stranded in Chicago. Um, so, And I honestly, I, I felt hopeless. So I did reach out on my social media. Um, oh, Kaylin says it was Sunday. Okay. I couldn't remember. I could not remember. My days definitely started to run together there for a while, I guess. Um, anyway, yeah, I was uh, I was a little bit stranded and uh, kind of feeling hopeless there for a minute. So I did reach out with what little bit of social media reach that I have, and that's my fault for not uh, for not doing more on the social media side, which. I guess I do have some reasons for that. At the same time, we will... Uh, I'll be picking that up probably at some point. Um, anyways. So yeah. If, if you saw if you saw my post last week, um, I was stranded and then I also made a post letting anybody that was willing to help out or concerned at all that uh, I was no longer stranded. So... Uh, yeah, that was an interesting trip. I really want to give you guys details on that. But, um, I do have a little bit of hesitation on that, so... Not not for anything on your guys' part, just on my, on my end. I will hopefully be able to explain all this someday soon. It's just a thing that I cannot move on from yet. Um, people that are close to me in my lives and some other folks that are even uh, that have gotten close to me that are here in the chat right now uh, know what's going on, what what the deal with that is. And, uh, yeah, anyway, it was, a, it, was a, uh, it was an interesting, to say the least, trip. Uh, I did meet up with uh, Gabe, which uh, now is called Gabe Rilla. It used to be Sparrow Medicine. There's a link to his channel down in the description of this video. And the, the video that he posted with me and him was just right after I was no longer stranded. It was actually right as me and him were getting ready to uh, go our separate ways. And uh, he hooked me up with all kind. He did not, he really did not have to do this, but he did it anyway. Hooked me up with all kinds of really interesting, really cool drinks. Um, and tonight, you guys will see one of those. Cyanide Cookies Dan in Australia just popped in. Which I happen to know that Dan is uh, is kind of indisposed right now. So for him to have made it to the live stream, that's very kind of him to come and also send a super chat. I, I very much appreciate that, Dan. And I hope you're, you're having a good time, buddy. Which I know you are. Like, I, I know. 
uh, we keep in contact, which is cool. Like I, I actually, um, I mean, I've I've made friends with very distant folks, people that you know I have hopes of maybe meeting up with one of these days. But some a lot of folks that I meet up with or that I talk to are sometimes he's literally on the other side of the world. Like he couldn't be any further from me. I don't think. So if I ever make it to Australia, I will make it a point to meet up with Dan when I'm there. Uh, I'd love to go to Australia. I don't know why it seems like such an intriguing place to me. I love the way they talk. <laughs> I love their accents, which is a big thing. Uh, I have met up with Shocker. <laughs> I've met up with Shocker plenty of times. Uh, you guys go check out Shocker's channel, too. I, I know uh, he's been pretty active, and his wife started a, a channel with uh, kind of MREs as part of the focus of that. Him and, uh, or her and Bob's wife made a couple videos together, and uh, it's definitely worth the watch. So I would suggest also to go check out, I can't remember the name of her channel. I mean, I, I've got an idea what it is, but if I say it, it'll be wrong, because it's a little bit complicated, I'm not going to lie. But once you learn it, then you'll know it. And I've heard it numerous times, I've watched the videos, but uh, she's doing a review tomorrow, he says. Well, then there will be some new content up on there. <laughs> Um, again, thanks for that super chat, Dan. I really appreciate that. I don't want to start this live stream out super slow for you guys. I know I'm bad about that. I know I, I talk too much. And uh, I'm going to try to prevent that. MRE wife Doxy Mom, with the Doxy being their wiener dogs. And I guess Doxy is short for wiener dog or wiener dog. Something, something like that. You guys probably couldn't hear that. Maybe you could. Maybe this microphone picked it up. There's somebody screaming at the top of their lungs. And I hear... Um, you see this, this building right here? Let me move. Right here. See that little white thing? That is a... That's like a smoking area for the American Legion back here. And those people... <laughs> they come outside and I hear fights... At least once a week. Like, there will be somebody out there fighting drunk. Just a man and a woman, typically, fighting with each other. It's been a couple women a couple times. But, uh, typically, it's a man and a woman yelling at each other. Um, that was never a problem before they built that little th that little shed there. I never heard anything, ever. Now, it's, it's pretty regular. So I'm going to chat with you guys, burn this, and then uh, I, I planned on opening those packages up out here, uh, but I guess I will take those inside. I hate to promo her channel, but she needs like 35 more subs, and she will do a giveaway. I mean, unnecessary, but I think uh, we should be able to get 35 folks from just this live stream to go to MRE, MRE Wife and Doxy Mom. I do not have a link to that, and I wish that Shocker could post a link to that in, in the chat if he can. If you're a moderator, Shocker, you might be able to post a link to her channel in the chat. Maybe. You can try it. Uh, it's, worth a, it's worth a shot. Um, G. Schultz is here. Old, t old, old timer. OG. <laughs> OG Schultz is what we should call him. And uh, that's cool. He made it. So, you, you, I mean, it kind of goes without saying. If you go, if you haven't been over to G. Schultz's channel, you should do that. Um, ForeignMRE.com, just thinking about them right off the top of my head. Uh, I assume they still have a decent supply of MREs and first strike rations. And if you use the code OS10 or Old Smoky 10 you get yourself $10 off of each case that you order. It's not just per order. It's 10 bucks off of each case. It, makes it, it, it actually makes that a fair deal. And I would not pass that savings along if it wasn't a good deal I think it's a good deal in today's climate um, I think it's it's more than fair um, so yeah if you guys are looking for MREs you live in the US uh, it's free shipping hey K-Man's here too man wow Every, just like it's like a family here like I hey Miss Gail I've got your package right here sitting right on top I should have just went ahead and opened it last week week before last <laughs> whenever 
uh, you actually you were in the chat. You weren't there at the beginning, and then I was like, oh, I'll just wait, and then and I got into something else, and, and blah 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 blah, and ended up not opening it. Hey, look, it would it worked. I thought I made. Yeah, you're a moderator, so good. Yeah, it works. Good deal. So there is a link that Shocker just posted. If you guys go over there, do it right now. Leave this live stream. Go subscribe to her channel. Thirty-five more subscribers, I think he said, and she's going to do a giveaway. Um. I think I'll probably, I'm going to assume that's going to make her hit 100. I know I'm already subscribed to that channel, so uh, it's not going to do me any point, any good to, to leave and go over there. Um, I I guess I could uh, tell you guys a little bit about, I don't know, this, uh, something weird. I don't know if it's weird. I don't really know how to. So, I grabbed the shower yesterday. Hold on. History Savior, don't spend <laughs> this all in one place. Hope all is well, buddy. Oh, oh, I'm going to knock the camera over. Hope everyone is doing good in the community. Well, thank you, History Savior, for that super chat, man. History Savior's channel. we got to get him to 1,000 subscribers. So he, he's got a huge giveaway going. he's going to do over there. And he's probably getting, he's getting closer. He's got to be in the 700s now, right around 700, I would say. Um, I think when he first started doing this, he was right around 5. So he's actually come... A decent way in the past few months uh, my channel is I've, I've been losing subscribers on some days I ain't gonna lie uh, YouTube hates me they hate me uh, I don't do enough you know coming coming on here live once a week is is not enough uh, even though I have tried to stay absolutely consistent with this obviously last week I had a wedding to attend to and uh, it just was not possible uh, my Saturday last week was definitely, I would call it, uh, borderline magical. The the two people that got married were uh, definitely meant for each other. I think they're a great couple. And uh, congratulations to Matt and Emily. You know, they're, they're great people. Matt directed the show. We, they call him the showrunner, but he directed the show called Eating History that, uh, that I hosted on the History Channel. And he's just a really good down home genuine person that uh that i'm fortunate to know so and uh i've been a you know he's been a huge part of my life i've been a small part of his <clears throat> for uh i don't know i guess we spent on and off together for about a year and uh yeah it's it was definitely uh it was worth the trip um uh, <laughs> you were on the history channel i know nobody knows man uh the pandemic couldn't have came at a worse time for us. Um, I don't try to self-promote it a whole lot because uh, what's the point? You know, it's over. The show's over. Um, the only, you can go. You anybody can go back and watch it. It's still uh, cataloged. It's on history.com. It's on. Uh, there's webisodes here on YouTube. <clears throat> uh, maybe one of those will take off one of these days and uh, get some extreme popularity and kind of restrike the uh the senders the coals or maybe some celebrity will give it a shout out and uh, really get it to take off at some point um i thought it was a great show i think we did pretty damn good in the ratings um considering that out of the top 100 shows like anywhere between 60 and 70 of those were all news channels and uh you know, so that only leaves 30 to 40 spots in the top 100 for regular shows, and that is every single television show that is on in that time slot. And we finished up like 38th, I think. Uh, our last episode, we were 38th in the top 100. That's pretty damn good, considering we did absolutely no promotion because we could not... Anything that we could have done promotion-wise, like the Today Show, Good Morning America... Uh, the, the late night talk shows, anything like that, <clears throat> it was all impossible. It was all, um, everything was put on the back burner. I mean, the show was ready uh, as well. We actually did end up having to, uh, I think we dropped a couple episodes because of the editing factor. They had to send the whole editing suite home. Um, the people that were editing the show, that were, that took up an entire floor of a skyscraper in New York City and uh, I got to meet every single one of those folks that that were there uh, I went in there on a couple different days and met the editors I met uh, and that's something I guess that uh, that talent they call this talent 
that talent or hosts of shows just don't, they don't do that. They don't go in and they don't talk to the staff. They don't talk to the representatives from History Channel. They just, they kind of, I, I wouldn't call them on a different level. I think they're just regular people. But that's the case. That's they just don't go and talk to the editors. Like me and uh, me and Josh, Josh bought a, uh, a bottle as a fire truck of Jim Beam uh, at Decanter. And we took that and I went and got Prince Street Pizza and took over there. Uh, t for everybody to have and kind of fed them and, and it was uh, it was the last night that Josh and me both could have been there and uh, we I've got pictures from this and uh, opened up that 50 year old bottle of Jim Beam 60 year old it was it was old it was an old bottle of Jim Beam opened that bottle it still had the original box too which was amazing and uh, yeah gave everybody a little shot out of that and had some pizza and uh you know, kind of hung out for a few. Yeah, I was in with the big wigs. You could say that. Uh, Jacob Halberger, any hope of a return? Nope. Yeah, not really. Not for, uh, as of right now, not for eating history. That, like I was saying there a few minutes ago, if, like, one of the uh, webisodes was to really take off or a celebrity was to take notice and say, man... Like and, and shout it out on their social media, and they have millions of followers, and and then those episodes like go crazy. That would respark History Channel's, uh, I guess, incentive to want to continue the show. There have been shows that have been off air for for years and come back. So it, it's I'm not going to say it's impossible, um, but I'm going to say right now that it's not happening. So unfortunately. That's just not going to be the case. And thank you for that super chat, Jacob. Um, that was a good question. Hopefully, I gave you guys a legit or a uh, sufficient answer. So, we'll finish this up, and uh, we'll go inside, get started tonight. I'm going to be having a chili mac from 1996. It's out of a case. Uh, I had case A and case B, and come to find out, I didn't realize this, but I looked it up, and they were actually put in the case four days before my birthday, on June 20th. 1996 so I would have been uh, I'd have been 14 years old man thinking back where I was at what I was doing at that time in my life we just we don't stop and enjoy the moment when we're when we're young like that um, I wish I, I had the wherewithal and you know the foresight to do something like that and think back then uh, of course, we have memories, but it's nothing like it would if you, you know, just stop and just really kind of soak in being young, and uh, you just always want time to go by. You just, you, come on, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, do this, do that, do that. You never just like, man, this is, whatever it is, I'm, I'm content. You're never content when you're young. You're always worried about the next thing, or, you know, if you're a boy, you're worried about what the girl's doing. I don't know what girls will worry about. I have no clue. <laughs> but uh, if you're a, young, you're a young teenage boy, the girls dictate a lot of your, your thoughts and uh, your actions. So <clears throat> hopefully um, hopefully we can get some more folks in here. Um, it, like I said, YouTube is refusing. Let me, uh, let me make a post, guys, real quick. Not that it'll help, but I'm gonna gonna do it anyway. Let's see here. That is not a problem, Shocker. I'm happy, happy to do it, man. All right, yeah, it's right on top. That this, this never happens. You see that? Hang on. Here. First thing. This. I don't know what the deal is, but uh, YouTube, it, it won't even recommend it to me, and it's and it's my stuff, and if I click into my YouTube, it, just, it, won't even, it won't even recommend my own live stream, which it should do. That should be the first thing that you see when you open up your YouTube, just like this. Um, fortunately, that happened this time, but, uh, oh, this is a pretty cool song that I've been, uh, that I've been listening to here lately, and, uh, hang on, let me see if I can get it to focus. Yeah, it's Riff Raff, Silhouette of the Pinnacle. It's like an 80s like style 
song that he done and Riff Raff doesn't typically do stuff like that and I wouldn't recommend any hardly anything else that he's ever done to you guys but this is actually pretty good it's actually it's kind of uh, it, it could reach a m much more broad market and the first time I heard it I was like oh man that's rough and then it popped up again and I ended up listening to it again because it auto played and I was like okay I, maybe maybe and then it came again, and I was like, yeah, I can get with that. That's not bad. Um, I like Riff Raff. He's a, he's a character, man. He's a character. <clears throat> All right. Oops, nope, I don't want to upload a video. My bad. I want to create a post. And hopefully, okay, it let me put the good deal. Let me put the actual uh, picture up there. Oh, yeah, I want to paste. Live stream happening right. Right, nope. Uh, autocorrect right now. Come join in the chat. All right, post. Post created. All right. Well, if you guys know anybody else that typically uh, comes to the live streams that you think probably most likely did not get notified, uh, and you're in communication with them, let them know. I try to text them as many folks as I can. And uh, whoa, mm. thousand horsepower Hellcat swap Dodge Dart. I've been into cars a lot, so I get a lot of car video recommendations, but that thing looks mean. All right, let's do this. Let's go inside. Let's open some packages, and uh, yeah, I'm excited to see what folks sent in, Miss Gail being one of them, and Delicious. I haven't seen Delicious in the chat, so maybe I should hold off on his, but I know, I know him, and sometimes he'll send stuff that's like time sensitive. All right, just excuse the uh, horrible camera angle and my limping in. Ah, oh, I clicked the like button. Thank you, Horny Animal. That is a very good suggestion that I always forget to tell folks. Hey, and if you're not subscribed, subscribe to my channel. Man, I'd really appreciate that. I've been losing subscribers lately. I, I plan on trying to fix that here soon. Uh, once you lose momentum, it's, it's kind of hard to get it back, but uh, it'll happen. It'll happen. I'm confident. Hey, Amber, can you turn this down, please? So I don't get uh, copyright stricken for background noise of a television show. Thank you. I appreciate it. All right. I'm going to flip the camera around here. Mount you guys up. Take me just a second. The challenges of live streaming. I don't know. They're they're not too many. Not once you get used to it. Whoop. Like I am. I'm pretty used to it. I do this. Been doing it once a week for years now. Been doing this what three years now? Probably something like that. Quite a while. So I have not marked out addresses because I did intend on uh, opening these up outside. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, and like I said, man, Gabe hooked me up with a bunch of, uh, really, really cool, interesting drinks. And, uh, I need to research a bunch of them. And the reason I did the one that I've got here with me tonight is because it is a double. It's one that I have more than one of. And there's what's on the menu tonight. Menu number 10, Chili Mac. And I think there's going to be something in here that is going to be awesome. I hope I have another one of these. I don't know if I do or not. I hope I do. I hope I have another one. Um, this should be in impeccable condition. Um, and uh, Horny Animal, thank you for that super chat, by the way, if I, if I didn't say that. Thank you for that super chat and also the recommendation to uh, thumbs up or down. If you don't like it, thumbs down it. Uh, still rocking Bob's bracelet here. 
Bob Sour Sourwine, I do believe is how you pronounce his last name. So check out this jelly. Yep, that happened. It's got a pinhole in it, unfortunately. Uh, I think it might actually have. It might have two. Maybe another one over here, which uh, this happened. It's had to have happened within the last couple months. Um, I traveled with it once, and then pulled it out of my bag, and it had uh, had coated everything with jelly juice. And uh, I don't know. Uh, I think I could still probably eat it if I eat it soon. Within the next, I, if I eat that within the next three months or so, I'd say it's probably still going to be edible. Because uh, as you can see, look at that. I mean, that's that's blackberry juice. It still looks fine. I don't know what that is on there. That could be, uh, looks like sugar separation right there. That little spot. If I look at it real close, it looks like sugar. Yep, I'll bet it is. Um, because, honestly, whenever they canned jellies and things like that, there were no preservatives. There were no uh, weird chemicals. There were no... It was just, if they added sugar, then they added sugar. I did plug in. Thank you, Miss Marilyn. I appreciate that. But, yeah, I sure did. So, I, last time I was doing a live stream, it cut out right as I was I was ending it anyway so it was okay but uh, it did cut off right as I was finishing up because I forgot to plug in <laughs> okay I want you guys to see this real quick before we get any further I have actually drank one of these do I have the can here I do not uh, watch well, I, I probably do somewhere nearby but okay you think look I have drank one of these this is probably I'm gonna guess 70s there's no date on here, but I should be able to narrow this down pretty close because look at this. Look at that. How crazy is that, y'all? Have you ever seen have you ever even seen one before? So Gabe gave me this, and uh he's honestly there's probably only a couple people in the country that's seen as many vintage cans as he has and bottles. Uh, and they're extreme, extreme collectors of empty cans and, and bottles. And, you know, been, you know, on occasion they'll get full ones. But Gabe only seeks out full, full everything. And this is the only one he's ever seen that was unopened. Hey, I don't know if I could chew that up, buddy. <laughs> I'd give her a try. No, no I wouldn't try that. Holy cow. All right. Yes, you want to come see everyone? Come here. Come here. Golly. Here. Hi. Hi. You're CT's favorite. <sighs> yeah, come here. See everybody. Come here. Right here. Come here. Right here. There you go. There you go. You can only be up here for a minute. All right, sit down. Say hello. Say hello. Hey, what's up? I'm into pain. All righty, your what's up, dude? I seen you on there a minute ago. You said something that uh, caught my eye, and I, I don't think I commented on it. Come here, honey. Are you just gonna lay down up there? If you lay down up there, you're fine for right now. I'm gonna have to make you get down eventually, though. All right, let's do packages. Let's see if she gets into, into the, uh, the excess packaging. Let's do Miss Gale's package. Um, I'm going to keep it upside down, like so, as to not give away her address. Actually, I can probably just rip this open. No, no need a knife. Get my finger up in there. There we go. What do we have here? Okay. And we have a note. Good deal. Make sure that's it. That is it. Here, you want to play with... No, I can't really let you play with that. Just... There you go. Want to play with that? And I did say um, earlier that I had some favorite items. And I've also got some stuff to try out that I've never tried. And I'll show you guys that as soon as we go through Gail's package here. Alright, the note. Uh... 
she says, Old Smokey, sorry to take so long um, to keep the promise for this uh, oil. Oh, for the cat. Oil for the cat. Dilute a small amount in your hand with a few drops of olive oil and rub it on the itchy areas. Oh, okay. You know, she's been doing a lot better on um, that one that had that, that skin condition. Uh, make sure the, the furry kid can't lick it off for uh, wait for for a bit I think uh, before it absolves or absorbs I've had a lot going on lately not a problem and I think the rest of this is a little personal so uh, thank you Miss Gale for <laughs> the oil let's check it out this is cat how appropriate that the cat came up here as she did. Oh wow, this is not what I expected uh, to open. How, how to open it? Here we go. Interesting. So this is going to be like a, a little glass. Yep. Look at this. That's straight up like medicine. <laughs> wow. Okay. Well, Miss Gail, I will put that to use, and I will use that on that little critter, and I'll let you know how that goes. Thank you for that. <laughs> And I assume any of my other animals that have uh, itchy spots on their their uh, bodies, I can use that on as well. I assume you could probably use it on dogs, but I'll find out. I'll find out. I'll ask you, Miss Gale, if you know. Uh, later, Dave. Dub C is here. Okay, next one we're going to... Uh, well, I said I some favorite stuff. I got a filled French toast. Got a, I like strawberry jam. Got an applesauce trans fat free cake. Got some chunky peanut butter. Wait a second. What? Oh, here it is. Got some chocolate peanut butter. I've never had this squeezers, but it's chocolate peanut butter. Um, one of my absolute favorites is the strawberry dairy shake. God, they're so good. Uh, this actually, this is actually pretty good. I got this from Bob, the spicy buffalo mix. I'm, I'm a fan. And then uh, I've never tried this. But Dan sent these, and uh, I, I need to eat them <laughs> um, because, let's be honest, they're like almost a year out of date, uh, which is my fault. I didn't know that they had such a quick expiration date. Usually jerky's just kind of good forever, it seems like, especially if it's still sealed like this is. But uh, I'm going to pick at least one or two of these tonight and give them a try. Let's see. I saw some like flavoring on one of them. So this says bush plum. This is outback, and that says native. So emu, or emu, emu, however you say it. Uh, kangaroo and crocodile. All right. Now, since I haven't seen delicious in here, I'll give him um, the you know unless he pops up before I get further into this. But uh, this one is from Miss Mary, and this was totally unexpected, so I'm just going to open it, and if anybody knows, I don't even know which, which Mary this is, because there's a few Marys that come through here. So, Miss Mary, if you happen to be in the chat right now, uh, I guess let yourself be known. <laughs> hey, Jesse Michael, what's up, buddy? All right, here we go. This is, I guess, probably came directly from Amazon, judging by the packaging. I think that the, the top of it is Amazon-ish as well. Let me look. I think I don't think this is a reused box, actually. It may be. It may be, actually. That's 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 cool, too. All right, let's see what, what this is. No clue. Oh, boy. Oh, wow. No way. What is this? Hang on. How do I untape it? I guess I'm not going to leave it in the plastic anyway, so I'm, I don't want to mess it up either. Now you're going to mess with the packaging? You want, you're going to want to get in this box. I know you. She likes, uh, I guess she found a lightning bug last night and decided she was going to play with that. Ooh, this is bamboo shoots. Geisha bamboo shoots, six ounces of them, and 
this has definitely got a substantial amount of age on it. Uh, product of Taiwan, the Republic of China. It was imported to New York, New York. Distributed by uh, Nozaki Associates Incorporated. Serving ideas. Geisha bamboo shoots require no further cooking. May be used for preparing homemade chop suey or chow mein. Uh, add to vegetable salads or scrambled eggs just before they set. Ingredients are bamboo shoots and water. These actually might still be edible. I mean, the can sounds amazing. And if I was to guess, I'm going to say this is this is definitely 50s or older. But I'll have to do some research on that one. That is a really interesting can. Holy cow. Thank you, Mary, for that. Wow. Robert. Hey, Smokey. Glad you made it home safe and sound. Have a small platoon at the property tonight, so can't stay long to chat. Uh... Hope everyone is well, and best wishes to all. Well, thank you, Bob. I appreciate that, man. Yeah. Yeah, I did. I made it home safe, buddy. <laughs> thank you for the, uh, thank you for that, man. And thank you for that super chat. And uh, enjoy your, uh, your crew over tonight, it sounds like. I have not looked at the details. This is, I mean, obviously you can, but it's definitely old as well. Uh, Jacob's. One for the road coffee. Whoa! No way. Take it from your friends at Jacob's. Always make coffee your last one for the road. This is an extremely cool can of coffee. Uh, recipe for safety. Partying is fun. Good drinks, good friends. Remember not to drive if you have more than one. Wow. Wow. Maxwell House all-purpose coffee. This is Maxwell House? Really? So Jacobs put Maxwell House in a can, and it's meant to be, I assume, opened up and made in... Wow. This is old, too. This has definitely got some age. This is pre-70s for sure. Just judging by the way it looks. I mean, this could be substantially older than that. I mean, this could be... I, I'd hate to say, honestly, it could be old, old. That is so cool. <laughs> I'm, I'm impressed. Extremely impressed with these. Those are absolutely awesome. I love the advertising on them as well. Love the labels. They're so awesome. Look at that steaming hot cup right there. <laughs> That's so awesome. This is going to be... Uh... Yeah, I... I mean, I feel like I should probably open up uh, Delicious's box because, like I said, he he is known. He's done it to me before. He's things he sent things that were time sensitive, but I figure he probably would have let me know if it was something time sensitive. But look at that layout. Some rare items right there. I'll tell you. I have no idea. Like this. this yeah, all right, you blew my mind. All right. Can't dwell on it. That was so freaking awesome. Thank you so much, Mary, for those awesome items. I hope I didn't miss something in that box. Let me make sure there's not a note in there. I didn't see one. That's why I didn't. Yeah, there's not one. Huh. Well, again, thank you for that. All right. What was I going to do next? Oh, yeah. Delicious this package. I don't know if I should open this or not. I don't know. I'll wait. I'll give it one more week. I'll give him. A, I'll give it a week, and I will. I will be uh, trying to reach out to him and get in touch with him. That way, yeah. That way, at least that's done. Oh yeah, forgot about this. <laughs> I didn't forget about it. I mean, look at that. Look at that. Um, so so what happens here is, uh, I mean, this is actually quite sweaty at the moment. And, uh, it's, uh, it's going to have to dry off before I can take it the rest of the way off. But underneath there is a, uh, you know, picture of a topless lady. <laughs> uh, let me dry this off. Just 
so it can sit there and dry out now. This one was, uh, was ready to go before I got it cold. It would, that, would, that label would have peeled right off of there. And hopefully I didn't screw that up. But uh, we're going to give this a shot and see what this, uh, this nude beer is all about. All right, I'm going to use one of the... Uh, the bottle openers that Bob sent me. I think this is one Bob sent me. Hans beer. Ham's beer. I don't know if those are N's or M's. I think they're M's. And these are numbered on top. I hope... I, there was one, two, and three I saw. Alright, here we go. Let's make sure this thing's got some, uh, some pressure to it. Oof. Okay, a little bit. Ooh. Uh, now this should be from the 80s. And uh, I didn't get to read much much on this one, but let's see here. Real quick before I drink it. There are different ones, as you can see. This was just kind of a thing. I have some. Oh, hang on. Have some of these as well. Oh, hang on. Have some of these as well. Um, uh, that Gabe hooked me up with. And uh, as you can see, this is this is the one, the variety that we have currently. Uh, that has the uh, peelable reveal, the uh, the fine model of the of the day from the '80s. And, uh, <laughs> um, let's see. Okay. Definitely from the 80s. Uh, I'm not seeing any great info here. No. Okay, here's some info on the matter. Okay. Uh, these things right now, uh, just the empty bottles are going for 10 to 12 bucks a piece. I'm seeing that. Uh, in the 1980s, new beer was made for... Uh, is this the Golden? It is, it is, it is, I think. I think I read that on there. Anyways, we'll, we'll go with it. Uh, the Golden Beverage Company of Wikes, Wikes Bear PA by New Jersey's only... Oh, no, cat, you can't do that. Come on, honey, you're going to have to get down. Yeah, you just about made me spill that, so go on. Go on. Okay. Um, a brewing company in Hampt, uh, the, 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 the New Jersey only contract contracted brewery the Eastern Brewing Corporation in Hampton a scratch off lottery type coating was used on the bikini top or bra of the female models the division of alcohol beverage control called a halt to the sales in New Jersey because it was deemed inappropriate to have a label that could be rubbed off to reveal a nude woman nude beer <laughs> with its controversial label was distributed in only 14 states that had such uh that had no such restrictions. New York being this, the state I resided in at the time was one of those states which allowed the sale of the beer. Uh, there were a total of 59 different models including included in this new beer series of which, okay, this guy's selling uh, close to 50 of them. Interesting. Well, there's a little bit of info on it. Uh, let's see how it tastes. Let's, uh, let's find out, huh? So, here we go. Uh, cheers. Down the hatch. I thought I was going to be able to get it all. Oh. It is skunked. Beyond skunked. 
Yeah. Um, not hardly any carbon. There's a little bit of carbonation there. Just a little tiny bit. Uh, it's, it's got a it's got a sourness to it, which is not common when you drink a vintage beer. There's not usually uh, a sourness to it, but it hits me right in the back. You know, like when you drink something or have something sour and it hits you in the jaw, right there. That's what happened here. Uh, I've got what, that much left, as you can see there. Ooh, it even smells funky, too. Gabe actually broke, like, two or three of these uh, whenever he was transferring them out of his car. The bottom of the box fell out, and uh, we lost. There was a couple casualties of the of the transfer, unfortunately. Uh, Should have kept the labels off of them. I think the labels are selling for, like, five bucks. Not that I would have sold them. I, I don't sell anything. I've still got everything. There's the treaty beer. Um, here's the, uh, which this one's open at the bottom. So it looks, this is a great display can. The Brawlmeister. Uh, here's the Harley. 1990, or 89. Wow, 10 years older than I thought. Uh, I've got a, I've got every can that I've done except maybe one or two that were, that were just not keepable. Uh, here's the Molson's. This thing was disgusting, if I remember correctly. I think that one made me uh, just about sick. Uh, I've got a couple bottles here that uh, Gabe sent along, too, that are uh, full of chunky goodness. But these are actually dated. That one's from 1950. That is from 1950. That's crazy, isn't it? My eyes look green, doesn't it? My eyes are very blue, not green. And I still have this soda. This, I think this is like a root beer or something that I need to drink as well. You have to, I think, uh, Booger Butt, I think, sent that. All right, here we go. Down the hatch with the rest of it. Uh, the chunks. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Definitely. Um, it's it's so aromatic that I can almost feel. If that makes any sense, it's like the scent is so thick that I can almost feel it coming out of my mouth. Um. It's it's different, I must say, and uh, I will try to peel this label after it dries off a little more. Just drying it off with my shirt. All right, let's eat a ration. It's going to be one of my favorite rations, and I think it's going to have something in it that is amazing. Wow, holy cow! I uh, I didn't have my chat going. <laughs> Rule your ex, oh God, Smokey. <laughs> Uh, tired, but the great spirits sharing in great spirits. Just pulled up on a ton of. I'll just pull up a ton of carpet for my grandparents. Redo the sub floor. But a satisfying Saturday. It's good when you can do a bunch of work and stand back. Hey, Miss Sharon, and uh, I'll wait. Jamie's here. Jamie T. What's up, man? All right, flip the camera. Let's 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 eat a, a twenty-five. Is it twenty-five? How old is this? 96, 06, 16, that's 25, yeah. 25 year old. Um, it was actually put in the box. These were packaged June 20th, 1996. I was, uh, let's see, I would have been uh, 13 years old, almost ready to turn 14 in four days. Four days before the old birthday. All right, let's open this bad boy up. It's right away foods. It's came it's come out of the case of impeccably supposedly impeccably stored MREs that uh, you know, I don't know if I'm gonna do that. Yeah, it's opening. It's, nah, it's just not gonna work. If this has in it what I think it should have in it, I hope it does. I hope it does. Let's see what's in here. What was that? 
idea what that is. It came out of this bag. Right there is a look inside that very clean looking bag. No odors at all. It just smells like uh, actual new plastic it smells like inside of there. Okay, first off we have some pears, which are probably going to be uh, brown pears. 81st day of 1996. A bunch of numbers and stuff on here that are a little bit uh, a little bit different. It's a lot of stamping on there. Next we have a nice little package of grape jelly. It's going to be a one ounce package. This is who's this made by? Ameripec? Ameripec Incorporated. Bueno Park, California. Uh, these are going to be caramels. I can tell just by looking at that, I think. Uh, I think I got a pack of caramels up here on display that I can uh, compare the size. I'd like to keep a thing of caramel sealed like this one day because I've never kept one. Because it's like, it's a mystery package. B2, but uh, I mean, you can look it up and see what, what comes in it. I, I'm sure that's what that is. They look at the separation. There's a caramel, there's a caramel, there's a caramel, there's one, there's one, there's one, there's one, there's one. I think there's 10 or something like that in there. Uh, oh, look at that. Oh my god, that is such a great sight to see. This is what I was talking about. This is what I was hoping. See, uh, I thought they had done away with all the oatmeal cookie bars by 1996-97. But uh, this menu does have the oatmeal cookie bar. And it's the big oatmeal cookie bar. Look, Cat, you got to stop. What did you just knock down? You're not hungry. I just fed you. But anyways, this is the big flat oatmeal cookie bar instead of the uh, one that's much skinnier and thicker oh, this is like this honestly is like finding a treasure these are so sought after and they're so good they're, they honestly are one of my all time favorite items of either fresh or old uh, the, these beat out any I would say just about any fresh item that I can think of. I mean, I'm, I've got, I've got some of my favorites on standby right here, and this, this, this right here does better. This is oh, okay. Here's a interesting looking pack of crackers that were sealed all, uh, all funny. Uh, the 159th day on these bad boys. The case, I, if I remember correctly, was sealed up on the the, the date on the or the number on the case was 171st day, which translated into June 20th, 1996, and uh, yeah, and crackers. They don't seem that special, but they are. They are. What else do we have in this amazing ration? We have a, a orange flavored beverage base powder in a very funky looking, uh, off colored. I would call that off color. This this has to be a rare run of this color of packaging because you, I've actually not seen that very often. Only in like the '96s and stuff like that. There we go. What else do we have in here? Ooh, we have a cocoa beverage powder, type one fortified, of course. With the what's the date code on this bag? Well, I'm just curious for my own. Uh, ooh, this is early. This is the 13th day of 96. It's a 013. 6013. But 013. We have a eh, not very good flameless ration heater with our OG Schultz on there. Where are you going? Where are you going? Are you leaving? Sorry, guys. Here is our partially biodegradable MRE spoon. 
is our accessory kit we'll take a look at in a second. And we have our very cool little sheet that uh, they didn't do these for very long either, I must say. Nutrition, a force multiplier. And then there's some really cool information. Anybody can pause that and read that if you'd like. And here is the backside. Military rations are good performance meals. Food gives you energy. The more energy you burn, the more food you need. <laughs> good info right there. Cat, you've got to stop. For real, stop. You're, you're, what? What do you want? I gave you two cans of food. What more could you want? Huh? Want a hug from Daddy? Huh? Oh, that make her happy. Oh, sorry guys, I gotta take a little little second here and give the little munchkin a hug. Oh, oh, she just wanted some love. And it's, is that what it was? Okay. Come on. Go play or something. Go on. Here. Look. All right. Next up, the Chili Mac. The star of the show, right here. That is heavy, too. That feels like more than eight ounces. Let me just say that. Uh, that feels more like nine or ten. Definitely feels like it's got more weight than a typical eight ounce main. So. This does have tear notches to rip it open, but I just figured why not use the knife that Blindside hooked me up with here. Amazing little uh, Kershaw, the very sharp looking knife. Sharp as well. Good looking knife. Works, works, functions very, very well. Where did I cut that? There it is. Let's see what we got in this accessory pack. We got some Taster's Choice. It's probably going to be skunked. We have. Wouldn't be a live stream if it didn't stop at least once, right? Okay, I thought that was going to be crushed red pepper. Nope, it is not. It is a moist towelette. Moist towelette. Hear a bunch of fireworks going off outside. And my dog hates that. Stella is so afraid of fireworks and lawnmowers that it's not even funny. Okay, we have some matches made by good old D.D. Bean and Sons, I'm sure. Right? Yes. Very blurry D.D. Bean and Sons, but let's see what color they are. Black matches with white tips. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Nice looking pack of uh, military spec matches. And a classic six grams of Domino Sugar. You can't beat Domino Sugar. It's a, I think it's a classic brand best brand iodized salt made by diamond i'm sure nope mark lind industries made by diamond i'm sure nope mark lind industries interesting oh and it has nutrition facts on the back what i don't think i've ever seen that before that's a new that's a new discovery okay servings uh four there are four servings in one of these packets uh, that equal 390, uh, one serving, sorry, one serving is 390 milligrams. So total in this package, let's see, if you times that by four, the 64% uh, of your daily value in that one package right there of sodium. Wow. And there's nothing of anything else. Protein, carbs, blah, blah, blah. But it's salt. Holy cow. I've never seen instruct man. Okay, guys, I gotta put that up right now because I'm just I love the fact that, that has nutrition facts on the back. That I just never have seen that. Didn't know they even did that with salt. Um, that's so cool. And I know that might sound silly to you guys. I'm kind of nerding out on that a little bit, but uh, it's pretty interesting. And here we have our cream substitute dry, and it's non-dairy. And we got some little, slightly faded green chiclets gum. We have our U.S. issued butt ration, or toilet paper, 
paper towels, napkins, whatever you want to use this as. This is a pretty light pack, let me say. Like, they really skimped on this one. You know, I don't think they're consistent. I think uh, some are bigger and some are smaller. This is a smaller pack of TP. I've had some that were much thicker than that. Maybe it has to do with the thickness of each tissue. Maybe the count's the same, but they're, they're just thinner. I'm not sure. But for sure, that one is definitely smaller and lighter. And look at that. Look at that perfect Tabasco. Uh, it's slightly uh, discolored from what you would think of as being new Tabasco, which this is this here. I put fresh Tabasco in this. That's what color it should be. Um, but I will say this. Tabasco does not go bad with age. It tastes better and hotter with age. Uh, I'm into pain says, I hope you and your family is doing well. Well, I'm into pain. Thank you so much for that super chat. Holy cow. Ah, just couldn't express my appreciation anymore. Oh, wow. Holy cow. Thank you so much, everybody who sent in a super chat tonight. I am highly, highly grateful for your guys' generosity. I, I don't know. You guys, uh, I really do appreciate it. You guys are too much. You don't have to do that at all. And, uh, it, it definitely, it definitely helps out big time. Okay, let's get Chili Mac opened up. Again, I'm into pain. Thank you so much for that. Fam's doing good, by the way. Uh, well, you know, typical stuff. Working through a couple of things, actually, right now. Hopefully, uh, they have a good outcome. I have hope right now that they will, especially one thing I'm kind of dealing with. Boom. Chili Mac. A heavy chili mac too. I'll bet this does weigh nine or ten ounces. Ooh no. I hope that's not an omen of what this is gonna be like. I'm not even gonna say it out loud. Oh, I never did finish telling you guys the story. Let me get through this in some boiling water and we'll uh, we'll get it all into a tray and whatnot. Be right back. Fingers crossed, right? The share. Here's just a couple other drinks that Gabe hooked me up with. Uh, he hooked me up with this Cheesehead White Wine. Look at the size of that. It's got a Styrofoam uh, Cheesehead on top of it, which I think is rocking awesome. That's so cool. Right? I mean, so cool. And then there's this, uh, this Fisher. Uh, but I wish you guys could see inside this. I don't think I have a light that'll show it. This thing is so full of crap <laughs> that I'm not even sure I'll drink it. Yeah, my light's not going to show it. Not enough. Here, let me turn this light out. Maybe I'll, maybe it'll pick it up then. It's not going to show it. Well, you can see some of it, maybe. See it floating around in there? Always here for you, Smokey. Well, thank you, Miss Sharon. You know I appreciate your presence. Uh, are you, you're, you are still a moderator on here, right? I can't tell from the super chat, but thank you for that super chat, Miss Sharon. We appreciate that here at the Smokey household. That is for sure. You know, maybe I should send that... Uh, that new beer thing out to you guys and not even peel it. Send it out to somebody and let them do it. What are you whining about? Oh my gosh. What are you so tore up about tonight? What, honey? You look like you're sad. 
You have no reason to be sad. Guys, don't forget about uh, Shocker's wife's channel. Um, MRE wife, Doxy mom. Um, let him, if he's still here, if he's still in here, post yourself another link up to that, man. Uh, you guys go leave this live stream, go subscribe to her channel. She gains 35 more subs from whatever number that was earlier tonight. She's going to do a giveaway. So you guys will be able to get you a net model. Somebody might win something. Somebody stop me. That beer. Wow. That beer hit me. That thing must have been pretty strong. What was the original alcohol content on there? Is it even listed? Uh, let's see here. It is not on the bottle how much the alcohol content was, but uh, judging by the way I feel, I would say it's probably you know up around the 7%, maybe from age. Uh, gained a little alcohol content to it. I don't know. Save that sheet too. Um, they're they're pretty rare those sheets actually. You don't see them very often. Stop! 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 You think I'm ignoring you or something? What is your deal? My gosh! I know you purr when I pet you. Yes, you a good girl. Yes, here, say hi to everybody so they know that I'm not just being weird in the background. <laughs> All right, I'm good. Goodness. She is a crybaby today. All right, tray. Got a crumb on it from something. Something on my table. Won't bother me. All right, jelly. Oatmeal beverage powder. Yolk milk cookie. I hate to even open that oatmeal cookie. I ain't gonna lie. Like, it's such a treasure. And there's the uh, caramels. Crackers can't go there. They're gonna have to go over here. Those are gonna have to go there. Dump the accessory packet off. There's the pears. Which we need to take out of the box. Uh, did anybody check the time when I put that in? Because I don't want to leave it in there too long. Five minutes, maybe. So I'm probably coming up on three right now. I don't want to leave it in there too long. Seriously. Because uh, overboiling them it makes it taste like metal, and I actually am looking forward to eating this chili mac. And I, I might even eat the whole thing. Uh, you know, hopefully you guys don't mind me eating and trying to talk to you while my mouth is full. But uh, if not, it'll be a bunch of awkward silence. And you know, I've learned to talk with my mouth full pretty well, to be quite honest. Uh, I was listening to Adam Richmond talk about uh, <clears throat> having to learn how to talk on screen and, and, you know, with your mouth full. You know, I never really thought about it. Just I guess it just came second nature because I've been doing it for so long. Uh, but, yeah, it's kind of a thing that you don't really, uh, you don't really practice very often. Most people, you know, they get upset when you talk to your mouth full. And, uh, well, I guess technically I got paid to do that. And so did he. <laughs> How many? I mean, there's there's people out there. The food the food uh, entertainment industry is is a plenty with folks that eat for a living and uh, judge food and whatnot uh, on television or on radio even. No, like not radio, but like uh, podcast type style eating that exists. That's a thing. I guess ASMR eating is a thing too. Yeah, it's a whole entertainment industry eating thing. But I am ready to uh, fix up. What are we going to do first? Let's do... Uh, I didn't get any waters. Bob Ross mug. And... This is a cocoa beverage powder. I'd say I've got about, what, one minute or so? Let's... Uh, I just lost my pocket knife. It's straight up. I have no freaking clue where it just went. Wow. It bounced on the carpet and took a... All right, here it is. Took a walk. But, uh... Yeah. As soon as I get this made up, I want to get that chili mac out of the boiling water.
Let's uh, check the Maxwell, Maxwell house real quick. I have a feeling it's not going to be any good, but uh, it's worth it's worth a look. Let's let's just take a look. It's moldy to me. You guys see it? I'll show you. It's not moldy, I don't think. You know what? No, nah, I'm not gonna ruin my I'm not gonna ruin my cocoa beverage powder with it. But I will make a separate cup in uh, my 4nmre.com mug. go that's what uh, some slightly off weird looking coffee looks like it's definitely the wrong color all right I'll be right back we're going to get the uh, this is a cocoa beverage powder out of the boiling water before it ends up tasting like metal Sorry about that distraction there. Of course, the cat had to sidetrack me for a second. She's uh, she's doing her thing tonight. I'll tell you. All right. Okay. Well, kind of prop that up right there. Let's do the creamer and the sugar as well. That looks perfect. That couldn't look any better. That looks brand new. 25 years old, but it looks brand spanking new. Let's check out the sugar. Uh oh. That's a little chunky. A lot more than normal. Typically, you don't see that. Yeah, anybody, uh, like I said, if you, if you know anybody who's missing out on the live stream, let them know uh, to come hang out. I think i got some interesting things in the works, guys, by the way. Um, I can't tell you what I think, hopefully, I, 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 hopefully some things are going to happen here soon. Um, that'll be beneficial to all of us. Looks like I put too much water, but that's where it was all that powder in there. It'll it'll go down. Here's our coffee. With some extremely hot water. It should. I hope it dissolves. 
really hope it dissolves. Man, I hate to open another freaking MRE spoon, but why not? Why not? I only got a thousand of them open. That's all. See? Still dry powder down in there. Water level will go down. Well, not water, but the level will go down. Man, that hot chocolate looks amazing. It looks so creamy. It's so rich. My mouth is watering thinking about this cocoa beverage powder. Yum. Yum, yum. Okay, I can feel that the coffee is kind of stuck to the bottom of this cup. If you guys don't mind, if, you, uh, if you're not subscribed to my channel, please, uh, so just consider. Just consider uh, subscribing. It doesn't cost you nothing. Um, and I, I very much appreciate you being subscribed. Also, if you like this type of stuff, would you uh, hit the thumbs up? And if you hate it, hit that thumbs down. I don't care. Um, it, you know, it's a YouTube uh, algorithm thing just interaction and once this video is uploaded anybody who would like to leave a comment uh it's it's much appreciated sometimes i can answer those and sometimes I, I can't get to them did y'all see what just happened over here i don't know what i don't know what that was it had like a i don't know like a little bit of a frothy and then it just like something hit it and it dissipated so strange huh well, finally got that coffee mixed up. That took a minute because uh, the coffee did not want to mix up because of the weirdness of it and the age of it. But it turned out turned out looking good. Looks looks just fine to me. And I have uh, I've got some toilet paper left over here. I've got uh, matches, Tabasco, gum, and a moist towelette. We've got one more drink to make, which is the orange. Beverage base, orange flavor. Get a cup. I think it's been a while since I've used the uh, the Pink Floyd cup. The wall. It's been a while. So let's go with that one. I will say that this feels perfect. Doesn't feel like it's uh, chunked up at all, but it might be a little bit. Let's find out. Oh, wow. Look at that. That looks like pixie dust, pixie stick dust. All right. I've got to try it out. Got to try it. Dry. A little bit in my hand here. Mm. That's exactly what it tastes like, too. Let's take a look. This ration is going to be amazing. I can already tell. Look at the amount of powder. Substantial amount. Molder13 says, <clears throat> Never thumbs down, Smoke. Love your presentation and the lively chats. Well, thank you so much, Molder. I try to keep it moving as much as I can. Uh, these live streams can get a little bit... Um, I mean, involved, I guess you could say. You know, I'm, I'm in my home. Things are happening around me, and sometimes I have to interact with those as well, which kind of throws off the uh, the speed and... and um, what's the word I'm looking for? Can't think of it right now, but uh, the uh, the flow of the chat. And I try, I try, I try to keep it going. Thank you so much, Mulder, for that super chat. Um, we almost hit 100 bucks tonight. That, that's that's pretty good. It's pretty daggone good. And I'm about to put hot water in my orange beverage base. Uh, let me go grab a let me go grab a bottle of water because I don't have one. Hang on. All right, here we go. 
was about to put hot water in it. That would have sucked. All right. I get, what's it called for? Wow. I can't remember. 12 ounces? 12 ounces. Half canteen cup. So, you know, the majority of this bottle of water, we're only going to do... that much something like that yeah that's probably uh, honestly it's probably close to 12 ounces <laughs> stop you're yelling stop 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 go on go on go on i don't want to hear you i don't want to hear you screaming go on let me finish eating then i'll get you up here okay and i'll tell you what this orange beverage base is looking like really orange like kind of out of character for these older ones looks uh looks different than i i guess than i had anticipated the orange color is uh just different than what i kind of suspected old smoky i prefer hot water in my in my orange drink i don't know why but that's how i like it <laughs> okay <laughs> uh to each their own and more power to you, super bad, super bad videos, super bad videos, with their hot water orange drink. Um, <laughs> not me though. I, I, I definitely prefer room temperature, <laughs> whatever that room temperature might be, as long as it's not like in the 90s or the 80s. So I keep it pretty cool in here, you know, between 68 and yeah, I don't know, 68 and 70 or so. I like to keep it cool. When my AC was broken down for like three months, man, whew, that was a struggle. Bought one of those super expensive inside units that you have to put the pipe in the window for the, you know, it, they kind of suck. And they produce a crap load of water. <clears throat> I'll open that in a second. Let's check out the crackers. Yeah, we'll do the pears as well. All right, so I've kind of learned my lesson on the uh, trying to rip open the pears and stuff like that because they always end up squirting. No matter what I do, they squirt all over the place. So today, I don't know if y'all saw that. I'll just go ahead and get the juice everywhere. May as well just ripped it open. <sighs> Come on. All right, let's take a look. Ah, oh, just as I had suspected them to be rather off color. Some trap in the top here. Alright, that's pretty much all of it. I used to keep all my empty MRE bags. I've stopped doing that. <laughs> it's a good idea to store my 1994... Wait, Old Smokey, is it a good idea to store my 1994 MREs in the fridge? Or should I put them in the freezer? <clears throat> well, that depends on what your end goal is. Now, do you know that your 1994s are in good shape? Are they, like in impeccable condition where they're fully edible right now. If they are, then you could absolutely freeze them and basically stop the aging process right there. As long as you can keep them frozen constantly. You know, that that's that's a big thing, not letting them thaw out and freeze again, thaw out and freeze again, because that will cause damage. When the ice crystals are in there and they start to burst, it, it breaks down the food and changes the whole makeup of, of everything. But uh, the refrigerator will also, it'll slow it down, but it will not, it won't basically, if you freeze them, it pretty much suspends whatever condition they're in, it's pretty much going to stay that way. Um, make sure that they don't have any pinholes in them, because if you put them in the freezer, 
and they have pinholes in them they'll end up getting moisture inside and it'll ruin your drink mixes and you know a few other things that it'll uh, it'll definitely affect and damage <clears throat> um, but it's anytime that you have room for something like that and you're wanting to uh, preserve it longer in the condition that it's in absolutely freezing and fr refrigerating will uh, can't hurt cannot hurt outside of the way that I just said make sure it doesn't have a pinhole if you're gonna put it in the freezer because then you'll just end up with a mess uh, all right cracker time oh really nice seal on those crackers if I can get them out of there I'll tell you what that that beer definitely uh, kind of, yeah it's Got a head change off of that. That's a word from my past. <laughs> Showing a little bit. Those are good looking. Good looking crackers right there. Look at the toastiness of those. Ah, oh, they smell. Ah, oh, just like vintage crackers should. They definitely uh, they have a, a slight malted barley sent to them not as much as the earlier ones all right i need something yeah here we go to wipe up this pear juice that i still ended up getting all over the place even though i cut it open no that ruined that napkin it's like syrup it's like thick almost like a solid even though it was, should have just been juice, but it's very riddled with little particles of those pears. <clears throat> Grape jelly, I'm going to give it a little need because uh, sometimes it gets a little dry and weird if you don't. So, give it a little need up there. Alright, small the hole the more control, as Gundog would say. And our mystery package of most likely caramels that are going to be uh, probably okay. Let's find out. Uh, I assume the uh, <clears throat> Ration Museum is probably going to have a live stream tomorrow. I don't know that for sure. It sounds like he might be busy um, taking care of some things for his grandparents. So, as I suspected, we have a impeccable looking package of milk caramels. Classic caramel. Milk caramels. Chewy and delicious. Some nutrition facts on these bad boys. Let's take a look together. Serving size is six pieces, so that's how many is in here. I was way off. I think I said ten. One, two, three, four, five. There's six of these bad boys in here. Uh, four and a half grams of fat out of six. Um, 130 calories. That's not bad. 115 milligrams. It, 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 it's not horrible, man. Not horrible for a sweet snack, honestly. The nutritional, I mean, it's not good for you, but it's not bad for uh, for a sweet snack like that, honestly. Not nowhere near as bad as I thought it would be. Because that's for the whole package. Whole shebang. Yeah, see, now, the ch look how much that changed. Look how much the color of that changed, guys. That is so much different than when I first mixed it up. Am I wrong? Or are my eyes playing tricks on me? Let me... Yeah, that has totally changed its looks. I'm not crazy. I'm pretty daggone sure that looks like, it looks just almost completely different. You guys might have to talk me into opening that. I don't know if I'm going to open that or not. <laughs> might save that for a rainy day. Because i got a bunch of other of my favorite items on the side here that... Uh, that I might crack into, you know, some or all of those. Ooh. It's Chili Mac time. It's time for the Chili Mac. It's time for the main course to come out and say hello. Oh, my goodness. Look at that. Oh, that smells so freaking good. You guys, it smells like some really good chili. It smells very, very savory. 
I smell the... Honestly, I smell like hamburger. Picking up a lot of, uh, of beef smell. I don't want to miss a ounce of this. Man, this smells so good. I hope I have another one of these. I hope that other case has one in it. I hope I haven't already done one of these. I don't think I have out of the, out of those. I don't think. I hope not. If not, I'm going to be seeking out another one in this type of condition because this thing looks, smells like perfection. I'm smashing up some noodles. This is not easy to get out of here, by the way. It's wanting to stick into the package, which means it's probably nice and. I would say greasy, but no, it should have slid out a little easier than that. Thick, I should say. Oh, cool, I just slung chili everywhere. It's on my tripod. Probably on the floor, too. I don't think I can get any more out of there. It's going to have to be what it is. It's all meat in there. Stuck. Hmm. So I did look lick a little bit off of the uh, tripod <laughs> and uh, unfortunately I must have left it in the boil a little bit too long because I picked up on a little bit of the metallic flavor all right let me get this down in here out of my way all right I gotta wipe the spoon off the upper part of the spoon a little bit Okay, time to dig in. Look at that. Chili Mac, 25 year old Chili Mac. You guys tell me, what do you think that looks like? I mean, does that look good to you guys? It looks pretty good to me in person. I don't know how it comes across on camera. Let me give you all a close up. There's a nice big bite on a close up. Uh, I smell, <clears throat> let's see, I smell a lot of the uh, tomato, comes through a lot, uh, the beef, that smell comes through a lot, uh, the pasta really doesn't have much of a smell, but it does have uh, kind of a, a fatty smell to it, alright, let's, uh, let's start off with a smaller bite, here we go, down the hatch. Well, slightly metallic. Picking up on that. But it, uh, it's more in the aftertaste than it is in the actual flavor, uh, the initial flavor and chew. The meat has a great consistency to it. Believe it or not, the noodles are not too mushy. They still have a, a, a decent texture to them. The flavor, slightly salty, um, acidic from the tomato. So you get a nice tomato come through. A little bit of onion, a little bit of maybe oregano in there. Slight bit. A little bit of chili powder. Mm. A 
Nothing that, uh, you know, the metallic flavor, that would be there in a brand new one if I boiled it too long. And I had that water at a rolling boil. When I put that in there, <clears throat> well, that didn't work out too well. It's made a friggin' mess. Let's give the crackers a try. They got a really nice crunch to them. Slight on the malted barley flavor. Pretty slight. I almost have like a like a slight creaminess to them. Uh, I think they're going to work really well with this main. Let's find out. Mm. It's almost like having a uh, like a breadstick with spaghetti. Really good. Mm. Let's check out this 25-year-old uh, Tabasco. Typically, I don't even open these anymore because I've got so many sitting here off to the side, but I don't know. Today, I'm just just feeling it. Give it a good shake. Maybe that pour hole will be opened up. Maybe not. See, that's what happens in the lid. A little bit of congealing. Whoa. Easy, Homer. Lots of Tabasco come out right there. On the 68th. Nope. Yep, 68th day, thank goodness. 96. I'm going to take this amount right here and mix it with this Tabasco because there's a good bit over here. It does need some heat. I will say that. Um... I feel like if it's going to be chilly something, that it should have at least a slight amount of heat, and this does not have that. But that Tabasco should take care of that problem. We're about to find out if it did. Here we go, down the hatch. I think uh, you might have autocorrect. You got spell correct or something on that. MC. The Tabasco. Hmm. Well. The Tabasco made it to where I could not taste the Chili Mac at all anymore. All I can taste is, it, it, it just tastes like old Tabasco. Very, um, very distinct flavor when it comes to uh, vintage Tabasco. The vinegar is, uh, you know, part of it, but it's not really the overwhelming part. It's just uh, the Tabasco pepper changes in flavor. Um, also, heat level goes up. It's This is not too hot, though. Maybe I haven't gotten enough yet. That's definitely possible. Mm. I don't know. I almost feel like I'm 
the, the Tabasco doesn't do anything for it flavor wise. I feel like it does add that heat that I want, but I'd much rather have some cayenne pepper. The reason being because the flavor of this is so good. You don't want something to change the flavor. You just want something to add heat. Hmm. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up or down if you like or don't like. And subscribe to the channel. If, uh, if that floats your boat. And Delicious' channel. Don't forget about him. That fella sent this box along. I have no idea what's in here. Could be a ration, could be some homemade honey. He had he sent me that one time, some flower honey that he made. This is definitely hitting the spot right now. After that nude beer. Which actually must have had some strength to it. Yeah, Peter's a good dude. That's what that's how I pronounce his name. Or Peter in American. Mr. Delicious, I call him. Great dude, though. You're not wrong, Pete. I don't know, now the Tabasco flavor is growing on me. This is weird. When I first started out, I didn't really like it that much. Hmm. Let's move on to a different item. I'm going to rinse it down or, uh, you know, maybe maybe cleanse my palate with uh, some 25-year-old orange drink that completely changed its looks from mixing to now. Let's see. Hmm. Okay, that, that's pretty weird. I don't taste the orange at all. It's just like a sweet... It's, now it's just like a sweet sugar. I mean, I guess there's a slight citrus flavor there. But let me say this. Whenever I first mixed it up, and I licked it off the spoon. It tasted like orange, almost like orange tang. Now, it's totally changed. So not only did it change in the way it looked, it changed in the way it tasted. I'll have to go back and rewatch this and see how much it really did change. I mean, I don't know, maybe I'm crazy and uh, I'm remembering it wrong, but I, I don't know. clean my spoon off here before I go digging into them uh, good old brown pears there. <laughs> yum, yum. Yum, 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 yum. I ain't even gonna mess around. I'm going for one of the biggest ones in there. Let's just do it. Same color as the spoon almost. Let's find out how they are. Hmm. They got a slight bit of age flavor, which is uh, very hard to describe what that age on it tastes like. Let me let me try again. Let me see if I can figure out what that. Yeah, almost like an old plastic or something like that. You you know. Like you, if you licked an arm floaty or something, or like a, like a one of those rafts that you lay on in the pool. Like if you licked one of those, that's kind of like you get a little bit of that flavor in these pears. Oops. All right, I'm gonna try it with the cracker. Mm. 
That's where it's at. These are fully edible. Still have a grittiness to them, you know, like a pear should. Uh, I feel like the syrup is not bad. You know? The crackers really add a lot to it. They really do. They take away that weird plastic flavor that they have too. Or rubber maybe. Let's see what they smell if they smell like that too. Mm, I guess they kind of do. I guess pears do have somewhat of a uh, what 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 I call it, like a polymer, somewhat like a polymer flavor or scent to them sometimes when you eat them, even when they're fresh. So maybe these were, you know, kind of strong on that side. Am I the only one that thinks that way? That they kind of got a weird, like, almost like plasticky rubber kind of flavor to them sometimes when they're even fresh? Yeah, sometimes you got to add that MRE, Miss Sharon. You're right. <clears throat> For a channel. Um, hell, my channel still don't even pop up to type in Old Smokey, I don't think. <sighs> I shouldn't have done that. I shouldn't have drank that. Because it's time to move on to the coffee. Try some coffee. Okay, that, that that does not taste good, actually. That tastes weird. Mm. I don't know if I should drink that. It's not the sugar or the creamer. It's the coffee that tastes weird. Hmm. I don't know. The more I drink it, the more I like it. That first drink, I hated it. Huh. What's the... I don't know what's going on with this coffee. Definitely a weird feeling on the bottom of my tongue. Like the underside of my tongue. Never really had that happen before. That's a new one. It's definitely got some residuals left over after you take the drink. Kind of that, that linger a little bit. I don't know what's going on with that one. I'm going to... Maybe I should tame down a little bit on that one. Not drink much of it. Let's see what our grape jelly looks like. Grape jelly. I mm, bet it don't look like... Yeah, don't look like grape jelly anymore. Oh, excuse me. Beer. Nude. Ugh. Well, there you go. 25-year-old grape jelly. That's what it looks like. Uh, decently stored. 25-year-old grape jelly. Leaking on my hand. Guess it really doesn't look much like jelly. I mean, you can see those little solid pieces in there that are going to be the, the gelatinous areas, and the rest of it's pretty, you know, syrupy, I would say. There we go. Let's try it. I mean, if you put that on a peanut butter and jelly sandwich, nobody would know what the jelly was. It's just sweet. Not really much flavor left after all these years of the grape. Let's try it again. Maybe I can get some of that. There we go. See, this is what happens. Kind of the separation is, in my opinion, it kind of sucks. It doesn't do it any good really all right before it leaks everywhere going down the hatch with it but you can see like see that solid chunk there
I don't know. Tastes good. I mean, it tastes, you know, sweet. It's uh, dessert-like for a snack on your crackers. And it just doesn't taste like, you know, like fresh grape jelly. Just oxidation has killed the initial flavor of the grape. It's not bad, by the way. It's not bad at all. I'd eat that all day long. And there's no side effects. There's no residual numbing or anything of that nature. I do think I saved a pack of these recently. I don't know what I... I thought I put them up here on my shelf somewhere. I could have swore I did. They could have fallen, though behind my board here. I don't know. If I did not, I'm sure I'll come across another pack. I ain't worried about it. The caramels are, uh... The last ones I had were... were very edible. And I kept them after the live stream. And went to eat more of them like the next day. And they had gotten much worse. <laughs> they had went downhill so quickly that I ended up having to throw them away. So, uh, when they come out of that package, that, that, you know, that trilaminate packaging that they were in, which is the only thing that's preserved them up to this point, you better eat them. If you want to. Oh, that smell, that smells like a nice caramel. No weird smells, no nothing. I mean, it just smells like a caramel or a caramel or whatever you want to say. However you say it. However you choose to say it. Let's do this. Look at that. Look at that. That is perfection. And it smells fantastic. It smells just like you would think it would. Mm. What a good snack. Six of these. You're sitting in the desert. Waiting on some dude to pop his head up. You know, a couple thousand yards away or something. <laughs> All snipered out. Eating some caramels. Back in 96. 97. You'd have probably had these in 97, 98. Mm hmm. Yeah, these are alright. These are alright. I mean, if you went to the store and bought caramels right now, they would taste about 10 times better than these. <laughs> uh. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I mean, they have these have a little bit of a weird taste to them, but they're um, for being 25 years old, they're not bad at all. And I mean, they're sweet, they're chewy, they're uh, a nice boost. Of carbohydrates you get a nice boost of energy so yeah not bad that's a third of the package down the hatch already um let's see what else we got here i'm gonna wash it down with a little bit of this hot cocoa that was making my mouth water earlier as soon as I can finish chewing this up. All right, here we go. Uh, 
you know, there's nothing I've ever been able to purchase that tastes just like this. It's it's very unique. I like to make it a little thicker. Sometimes. Sometimes I thin it out. Just depends on my mood. Right now it's a little thicker. Very chocolatey. Very creamy. And it just it has this unique chocolate flavor to it that I've not picked up on anything else. Always wanted to try the jelly bars. The jelly bars, depending on the ones you get, um, they're going to be extremely hard, or they could be extremely oddly soft and like almost wet. I've seen them both ways. I've had them both ways, um, and I've also had some that were in uh, what appeared to be perfect condition. I've also had some that were in basically perfect condition. But the ones that I had, the, the appearance-wise, that looked perfect, ended up being very, very difficult to chew up. They were kind of softer on the outside, and in the center they were hard as a rock. Um, but the jelly bars are very uh, generic in the way they taste and their flavor, typically. Uh, the really old ones that I've had, I've had some you know, World War II, eh, a little old, Korean War, a little before era ones that I've had had a, the, the some of the fruit flavors were better I would say and more natural flavored but also you also got like some weird ones too like the lime was really weird uh, the lemon tasted like uh, honestly it kind of tasted like a cleaner somewhat uh, the lemon flavors got better the the newer age but if you see chuckles in the store you pick up a pack of Chuckles, that's going to be very, very similar to a Jelly Bar experience. Very similar. Not a whole lot of difference. I think I have a pack of Chuckles around. I know I do I have a pack sitting around here somewhere. Uh, I've got quite the candy collection, quite the vintage food collection going on. I just don't have a place to display it, uh, which I will have soon. Soon I will be, well, knock on wood, hopefully, hopefully soon. I'll be getting into some stuff like uh, you know, setting up new new display areas. Um, I'm not going to create an entire museum, but I will create one heck of a man cave that revolves around my vintage food collection. I collected Hot Wheels back in the day. I want to put some of those in there. Um, what else? Might do a little bit of my... Uh, uh, money collection somehow or another incorporate it somehow <clears throat> okay favorite items and whatnot so I have one cracker left uh, I was going to eat the rest of that but I might not need to dig out uh, one of those camels from 1980. I think they're 89s. Yeah, 89 or 90s. I can't, can't remember. I don't know what all this stuff I'm going to open up. I've already I mean, I've opened a lot of food in that meal. Now, I do want to dig into one of these. You guys, which one of those should I open? I'm going to go get scissors so I can cut that without damaging the one next to it. But which one of the which one of these? Uh, we got we got the uh, crocodile kangaroo and the emu I guess emu uh, kangaroo crocodile you guys think about that let me know as soon as I get back what you'd like well maybe one or two I don't know we'll see at least one or two up right now If you want. Okay. I see crocodile. The first two I see. 
looks like. All right, let me make sure I don't screw this up. All right. Going straight in for the crocodile because I already saw that one uh, pop up a couple times and we might do another. Okay, first impressions of the smell, I'm not getting any smell hardly. Well, it looks like there's more than one piece in there, kind of. Interesting. This is crocodile meat, huh? There's two pieces, three pieces in there. Look how fatty that piece is. I don't know that I want to eat that, really. I want to. Of course, I. Mm, very stringy. Appearing in its. What is that? Like a tendon or something? I don't know. I don't know. Here we go. I'm going to give it a try. Down the hatch. Hmm. Very tough. It might be my fault for leaving it set there for too long. Salty. I'll try to get a feel for the meat. When you try to rip it, that's what happens. Oh, yeah, some vintage gaming stuff. I mean, <laughs> vintage gaming stuff. You mean the stuff from my childhood that I still have? <clears throat> Our regular Nintendo got stolen by a nurse that was taking care of my grandma. My grandma always liked to play my regular Nintendo, so I let her keep it at her house. Well, after my grandma passed away, they let that nurse live in my grandma's house. And when she moved out, she took my Nintendo with her. Stole it. My original. Bought in, uh, let's see, it would have been bought in 1986 or 87. I'd have been in kindergarten. I was in kindergarten when my mom bought a Nintendo. I think. So I must say, the consistency of this meat. Hmm odd because I get a bite through that I don't expect with jerky if that makes sense oh yeah it made me mad huh I'm still mad about it or upset whatever um, definitely felt betrayed I still remember that lady's name her name was Rebecca and she can kiss my butt Yeah, because that was mine from my childhood, and I'll never get that one back. You know what I mean? I do still have my Super Nintendo, though, <clears throat> with some of my games. Nowhere near all the ones that I had. I'm interested to see what this is like. I think this comes in some of those, um, those like, heater meal things. I think it'll be interesting to see what this is like I'm still chewing on that jerky <laughs> um as far as the flavor goes I don't really taste much flavor difference between that and beef it's very um, very very beef ish as far as the flavor I pick up from that particular jerky. Uh, yes, it does what? <laughs> People are calling me vintage. I guess I'm vintage too, though, unfortunately. Yeah, I probably won't make my, my strawberry dairy shake.
right, I'm interested to find out what this uh, chocolate peanut butter, the ultimate squeeze snack, squeezers, distributed by Portion Pack, Mason, Ohio. Huh, right up there, Cincinnati area. That's what. That's where Mason, Ohio is. is that's where uh, Kings Island is, if you guys are familiar with that. I know growing up, uh, the uh, Guinness Book of World Records is a big thing for us. You know, we'd go to the library, we'd, we'd always want to look at the Guinness Book of World Records, right? That, or Ripley's, believe it or not. And, uh, the largest, or fat, the largest and fastest wooden ro roller coaster in the world was always up there. The Beast was always up there at, uh, at Kings Island. And, uh, that was always a big thing that we, we thought was cool. Well, that looks a lot like the chocolate peanut spread from... A US MRE. Let's find out if it tastes the same. Mm. So, mixed with these vintage crackers, it kind of tastes weird, but I tried it on its own. And it is spot on to the chocolate peanut spread that is in current MREs. I think beef stew has chocolate peanut spread in it, if I'm not mistaken. The beef stew meal. That's really good. That's a nice portion too, it seems like. an ounce and a half it's old school <laughs> it's like the old size 1.5 ounces mm. yeah too many of these and I'd be in trouble what the nutrition facts is looking like on there let's see I have to put the uh, corner back on 240 calories um, 18 grams of fat Wow, four and a half grams of saturated fat. It's 20, 22 percent of your daily value in this whole pack if you ate it all. Uh, cholesterol says zero milligrams. That's not bad. Um, 150 milligrams of sodium is not too bad, not for something like this. Eight grams of protein. That's pretty good. Uh, also, eight grams of sugar, <laughs> which I guess is not too bad considering. I mean, I, you know that that could have up to 16 grams of sugar in it, and you know, I mean, it would be too much. I think it'd be make it gritty. But sometimes, sometimes you see people using or companies using a lot of sugar like that. Strawberry jam. Let's do a strawberry jam mixed with some of that chocolate peanut butter and see what what's up with that. Let's find out what the deal yo is. What do I do with them scissors? Hmm. I don't know. I'm just about to wrap it up, y'all. I'm going to finish off this. I'm going to get me out of Vintage Camel. Afterwards, chat with you guys on the chat for a few. And then I'll wrap it up. I don't know why I licked that off my knife. Not like I could taste it. What the heck? I just stuck some Vintage Coffee Instant and Cream Substitute. I don't know what those are from. I don't even remember. Stuck them up there in my little display up there. Alright, let's do the. Uh, let me put this on there first. I wish I'd have made a smaller hole in this, by the way. Kind of screwed up. Kind of hard to control. It's a great big, uh, great big opening on that. Strawberry jam's actually looking pretty good. I thought it was going to look worse than that. Looking pretty good. Chocolate uh, peanut spread, and, or chocolate peanut butter, and strawberry jam. Oh, wow. That would make for one heck of a sandwich. Hmm.
that strawberry jam is really fruity. Tons of strawberry flavor coming through there. <clears throat> Miss Mary, I don't know if you made it into the uh, to this live stream tonight, but I want to I wanted to say thank you for uh, sending that those cans in. Holy cow! Super super cool. Do they still make camel wads? Got a nice little selection of camels here. Or, uh, well, let me pull, it, pull that camel cash out of the way there. Hang on a second. Put it on the back side there. Got a soft pack of camel filters, hard pack of camel filters. Got the wads and a soft pack of camel lights filters there. That one has the camel bucks right on the back of it. Wait. Yeah, these are definitely uh definitely nice and vintage. These ones seem to be getting better the longer they're open. That's not always the case. Sometimes after you open them they uh they start to go weird and sour sometimes. These ones here they've been good. I got this box here, Dub C sent, and I checked those. Uh, he sent me some food bars, some like uh, Japanese or Chinese food bars, military. I think they are, or I think that's what he said they were. And they were in with that Polish. I think it was a Polish ration that that blew up like a balloon, and I opened. It was stunk so freaking bad, but those things still. They smell like poop still, <laughs> just from that from that ration. I can't believe it this long. I mean, I do have them in a baggie, which I guess I... I did let them set out for a while, though, before I put them in that bag to air out, and they still have not aired out. X Super Console Bros SXX. Hello, what's up? We were just talking about vintage consoles, as a matter of fact. It's cool. Where do you get... Where, if it's cool, where do you get your MREs? Um, well, honestly, all over the place. eBay is a big source. Uh, if you're looking for a deal, uh, patience, monitoring eBay. You know, use your watch list. Put things on your watch list whenever folks throw cases up for bid and they start to price out low. Sometimes you'll end up winning them cheap. Or uh, if you just want to pay a flat out price and get them. Fair, like, ForeignMRE.com has actually got one of the pretty close to the going rate free shipping. They're in the community right there. ForeignMRE.com. Use the code OS10 or Old Smoky10. You'll get ten bucks off of every case that you order that way. And uh, that's, I mean, that's one source for. M Those are fresh. Those will be 2019, late, later, mid to late 2019s that you'll get. So they'll be, you know, roughly two years old, but. They're not stored bad, first of all, or they haven't been, because the ones that I had, they seemed pretty much like brand new. Uh, no comment on MRE Mountain. I'm not going to comment on that. I'm not going to try to be... Um, no comment. <laughs> I ain't got nothing good to say, so I won't say nothing at all. Uh, first time catching you live, so here's a couple... Uh, quid for the stream. Well, thank you, Christine uh, Venner. Christine Venner, thank you so much for the couple quid there. <laughs> I appreciate that. Wow. I did not expect that, but I very, very much appreciate that. Um, oh, yeah, MRE Mountains prices have always been... They used to be extremely high, but now that the prices have came up everywhere, now they're just, they're just higher than everywhere else still. <laughs> 
but they used to be like double everywhere else. Uh, I won't I won't say too awful much, but uh, I personally would not recommend that you go that direction. I know uh, Steve has has sent people that way. Uh, me and him discussed that a lot back in the day, and uh, you know, it that's to each their own. So uh, you know, you 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 be the judge. Um. Yeah, I know a few people had customer service issues with them in the past year or so, but I, I honestly I don't monitor the, them at all. Like, I can honestly care less because I can't stand the guy that owns that company. And I'm, I'm getting kind of personal here. I typically would not say something like this openly, but uh, you know what? Anybody who started shit about some veterans with me, I'm not going to say anything good about him. So he can... He can do what he does, and I got nothing good to say about him. But it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> um, where else? Let's see. Uh, oh, duh. Uh, it, it depends on what you're wanting. If you're wanting USMREs, I've sent you in, in the right directions. Honestly, like I said, if you're looking for a deal, be patient. Spend your time. Use your watch list. Bid on the low stuff, watch it, and you could end up winning cases for anywhere from 30 to 40, 50 bucks. Um, you, you never know. Like the cheapest I ever have won a case of MREs on eBay was $31 with free shipping, and it cost them $33 to ship me the case. So it ended up costing them $2 to ship them to me, plus the fees that they had to pay. I felt horrible for the people. As I, I didn't, it wasn't my fault, but still. I mean, it happened, um, and it does happen. I mean, like I said, if you, if you watch, it can happen. That was probably back in like twenty uh, fifteen or sixteen that that happened, though. That I got a case for thirty one bucks shipped. Um, I but I also right after that I got another case that was like thirty eight bucks shipped. Uh, let's see where. Oh, uh, yeah, Minotaur. Minotaur. If you're looking for like. Uh, freeze dried stuff, or um, but I will say Bob's rations are good. Like I have not had bad experiences. There's some things that are not like my favorites. I'm not a big fan personally of the uh, like chocolate covered sunflower seeds, but they're not bad. They're not bad in any way. I mean, I'm just not. I'm not a fan of M and M's either. So, <laughs> so those just aren't up my alley of like things that I that I prefer. But he also has some really killer items over there. A lot of really killer items. Actually, the freeze-dried milks are amazing, <clears throat> which means that you can have milk literally anywhere that you're at. In the middle of a thousand degree, uh, you know, if you was in the middle of a, of, a, of a desert and it was 120 degrees, as long as you had water to make, you know, the water to put in it, you could have milk right then, right there, not packing it in a backpack with ice or anything like that. You literally have milk anywhere which i do think is a is a very valuable thing especially if you're going to camp or something like that and you want to have breakfast boom takes him that freeze-dried milk he's got strawberry and chocolate both what else does he have over there that's uh that's crazy cool he's got like the uh uh the the the, the, the cheesecake like strawberry there's like a strawberry cheesecake mix thing that's pretty i think it's pretty good i haven't had that one but i did uh give one away to a couple people and they liked them a lot uh what else let's see he's got a, a lot of unique stuff over there i don't know what'll be up on the website but i would you know check that out see if there's anything that you like over there um not a big fan of the drink mixes and the meat dishes slash pastas uh well yeah you're yeah so i honestly i would suggest you go and check out what uh, what Bob's got going on at Minotaur. I think Minotaur um, has enough going on. Where are you going? Uh, well, if you want to wait, I'll take you guys until I'm done. Yeah, I'm almost done. Anyways, those will be my suggestions right now, right off the top of my head, I think. Uh, yeah, yeah, those would be the ones. Because if you go with anything like the other civilian uh, providers of rations and MREs and stuff, 
you're going to run into some extremely high pricing. If you go to XMRE, extremely high pricing. If you go into, but to, oh, now I say that, but you're also going to get rations that were produced in 2021. Same with Bob, though. But when you go to Bob to Minotaur, you're going to get stuff that was put together this year. Super fresh food. Um, and I think all Bob's doing now is freeze dried. I think he's got some, uh, like, you know, MRE items that you can still purchase probably, but, uh, or it might be on the MRE Nation side. I think he's got that going again. It's been a little while since I've looked. But yes, and thank you, Christine, for uh, stopping by. I do appreciate you stopping by and the couple quid, as you as you put it. <laughs> I appreciate that. I appreciate everybody who sent along a super chat tonight. Thank you, guys. We did. We broke the hundred dollar mark tonight. So, yay! <laughs> That's great. Casper, yeah, you probably gotta do some driving. Yeah, I was just in Milwaukee for the first time in my life. Um, Milwaukee, the area that I was in was beautiful, right on the lake. Really nice place. Uh, oh, you are a big fan of that food. Okay, you're a big fan of the pasta dishes and the and the meat dishes. Okay, I got you. Well, I got a crap ton of uh, like uh, the maple sausage patties and uh, I've got a lot of stuff like that that uh you know I got a bunch of those maple sausage patties thinking that I was uh, that I was gonna eat those because I used to, I used to think that I liked them a lot until I got a bunch of them and cracked a couple open and I tried to use them with breakfast. I tried to use them in different places. My kids still, I, I'm just not a huge fan of them on their own. Like, you really do need the, the actual MRE meal with the uh, with the uh, maple muffin top and the syrup and the, the sausage patty. You put it all together, and it legit does make a, a killer breakfast item. It's just very sweet. Very sweet. Uh, used to take the Japanese parachutes. Japanese parachutes. He was a World War II vet. And turned them into hula dresses for the girls. Oh, wow, that's interesting. Wow, I'll bet you those hula dresses now are worth a fortune. <sighs> Alright, guys, I guess I'm going to wrap this up. I don't see anything else here I really want to tear into right now. And I'm honestly, I'm, I'm full. Believe it or not, I am actually full. Uh, I've eaten about half of that. I ate about two thirds of this. I would, I would say that I ate two thirds of that. I think this was larger than eight ounces. I'll be honest. I do feel like it weighed nine or ten ounces. Uh, I will eat the rest of these crackers. I'll use. I'll do it right now. Uh, I'm, I'm trying to talk, but I'll do it anyways. <laughs> so I ate one and a half of the crackers so far, but I'll finish the crackers for sure. I'll use that chocolate peanut butter and uh this strawberry jam to uh to finish off the crackers i'll probably eat them too just because if i don't there won't be no count tomorrow evening so i'll definitely finish the these two drinks I'm not going to finish the pears not that there's anything wrong with them they're just very unappealing to look at and they got just a slight weird flavor to them like like I was mentioning like a plastic flavor and this jewel You know what? I've had so many of these. I feel like I should pass this experience on to someone else. Because honestly, this whole ration could have just tossed the whole daggone thing. That right there would have made it all worth it. That one tiny, skinny little item right there would have made the whole thing worthwhile. 
Oh, it's an oatmeal cookie bar. From 1996 from Right Away Foods. The Panzer Crackles? Crackles? The Panzer Crackles? You mean uh, like uh, the Lithuanian ones? The uh, Polish, Lithuanian? Polish and Lithuanian use the same crackers. <clears throat> I hate them. <laughs> I freaking hate them. They're way too hard. Um, I can eat them. You know, but the caraway seed, to me, is just so overpowering in those things that they're just, uh, oh, uh, yes, especially, especially this particular type of cookie. Um, I'll be honest, the thicker, skinnier oatmeal cookie bars, they all taste, they taste very similar, if not the same. Um, same recipe, same everything. But 1995, these would have been, uh, square in, in shape this way and rectangle in shape lengthwise. You know, if you looked at it from the top, it was a square, and then it would have been about about that wide, roughly, and then it would have been square, so it would have been about that thick, you know, about three times the thickness of this one, if not more, definitely, yeah, probably close to three times the thickness of this one, and uh, just, those are way more common than this particular style, size, shape of cookie. And I could easily ship this. So we might just, uh, I might just save that and do a giveaway for you guys, man. I, you know, I want somebody to experience that that wouldn't typically be able to get their hands on something like that or has never and maybe wouldn't even consider it. But I would not pass this along to someone if I didn't think that this, when you open it and eat it, that it's going to taste exactly like it would have in 1997 whenever you would have got this, 6 or 7 when you would have gotten this if you were in the military back then you would have got this in your meal it's going to taste the almost, if not exactly like it was back then today so I think uh, you know the, these things like this this right here, these are the things really that we, that we cherish and that make it, these meals memorable when we have them having items like this that are quite rare uh, the desserts really I mean honestly they they make the whole meal a special experience uh, and when you can enjoy the whole meal like I have here this is not typically common most 1996 meals that you're gonna find nowadays are gonna are gonna be at least half of it's gonna be bad or the whole thing will be bad you know um, but if you find a 1996 Chili Mac, it's going to have this cookie in it. The cookie's probably still going to be edible, but it might go through some changes. So um, this one I don't think has went through any changes. I, I have strong confidence because of the way it's sealed and the rest of the meal that I've consumed that this one is going to be in perfect condition. So I wouldn't pass it along to anyone. You know, giving away vintage food is, uh, well, giving away vintage food and thinking someone's going to eat it is, uh, is, I guess, kind of risky, to be quite honest. And uh, this, I don't, I, don't have any, I don't have any concerns at all with this one right here. But like I said, I'd like to maybe pass that along to someone who would not be able to, to typically be able to get their hands on something like that and try it. So I need to say thank you to a few people. Uh, Miss Mary, who sent along this amazingly cool cup of coffee, and these bamboo shoots here that are probably from the 50s or maybe older. I've got to I've got to do the research. Like I said, very old, very vintage items, very cool items. Um, that I see something like this, I'd love to just dig into that. Honestly, I'd love to just crack that open and try it. It may be perfect. It may not be. Uh, but I feel like I need to do it justice. Oh, it's, it sounds like it's absolutely perfect. I'll bet it is. Well, this never had any chance of any type of moisture. I mean, the top is quite rusty right there, but it never has penetrated it at all. It's just a little bit of surface rust, and that might actually be from, like, transfer from another can that was sitting on top of it or something like that. But I want to say thank you to Mary. I want to also say a huge thank you to Miss Gail for sending in the oil for the little critter. And I will put that to use. I said to put that on my hands. See all my hands? Like, I still can't get the dirt out of my hands from uh, last week. See my fingers? I don't know if you can see it, but it's like all the cracks in my, my hands and fingers are 
there's like black stuff in it from uh, the car. <clears throat> I could have uh, could have showed you guys a couple pictures from uh, Milwaukee. If you guys ever been there? Heck, one of you guys might even be from there. For all I know. Um, I took a couple pictures down at the waterfront that are pretty nice, and then I did a couple in town there. Uh, this, there's like a building there that looks like kind of like the Oculus in New York, kind of. Right there on Lake Michigan. It's like a bridge that goes across a couple lanes of highway there in the city. Let's see what else we got here. Uh, there was something else there too I thought was pretty cool. This is a metal tree that was right across the street. How cool was that? A metal tree. Like, straight up, shiny, chrome, <laughs> metal tree. Uh, almost looks like a ship. Yeah, yeah, yes, you are correct. It does have a ship appearance to it. I, I'm, I'm going to assume it's some sort of museum. I could be wrong about that. Uh, some really nice buildings in town here. Really nice details on them. Kind of gets lost in there a little bit. There's the tree a little better. In back view, just kind of in the middle of some other trees. It's pretty cool. It's kind of swaying in the wind too, which which made it even cooler. Some other buildings in town there. Then I took, uh, let's see, this these pictures up here. Oops. See, try these were tried to get the flowers and then whatever that is in the background there. I made some attempts at trying to get like the right picture yeah I don't know. I'm not a photographer never claimed to be I'm not a cinematographer but the, the <clears throat> there's a lot of vintage buildings and uh, uh, are what made of glass but we uh, <clears throat> we were staying in the uh, oldest hotel in the city if not maybe the state built in like 1879 uh it's called the fist hotel I made a post on instagram about it let me see if i got a picture here oh there we go the fister the rooms were really nice look there's the uh that's the lobby looks like uh i don't know what it looks like it looks like something <laughs> really 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 nice extremely nice i would say Nice chandeliers, the sculpture with the flowers, they look like glass. No, those were actually real flowers, actually. Yeah. And then, uh, hang on, let me see, I, got a, I think I got a picture of this other thing <clears throat> in town there. Let me see if I can find it. Right here. This, this is a sculpture. I didn't get up close to it, but it's very interesting looking. I like that piece of artwork. Yeah, like I said, I'm not really a, a photographer, but tried to get like the right angle to make it look, I guess, more like something that it's not, something like that. Kind of tried to maybe cut that off and just do that. Zombie Pac-Man ghost, yeah. <laughs> kinda yeah yeah that thing was weird looking man it's like I think it was made to like simulate if you just dumped paint over top of a I guess maybe a person what it would look like if you just continued to dump paint on a person here I am in a suit you guys ever seen me in a suit no hat yeah well I don't think I clean up all that well ballroom there's a chandelier in the ballroom really nice stuff Let's see here I took more pictures of the building I 
was hoping Matt would catch this live stream because uh, Matt and Emily, I did the uh, <clears throat> speak uh, about their wedding a little bit there at the beginning. But I won't show their personal, well, not personal pictures. I took the pictures, but still, it's just, yeah, you know, stuff that you shouldn't show everybody, I guess. It'd be up to him if he wanted to share something like that on his Instagram or something. Oh, yeah, I forgot to send the candid shots that I took. But, yeah. All right, guys, I'm going to wrap this one up. This has been, what is today, like the 10th, July 10th, something like that. <clears throat> Sorry I had to take last week off. Like I said, I went to that wedding, and uh, it was definitely a great experience. The ride home was very beyond strenuous, beyond stressful, beyond, I mean, stranded in Chicago is, uh, is crap. Go watch Gabe's video, which... Uh, Sparrow Medicine, Gabriella. Go over there and watch his video, the one that he posted of me and him right after the uh, out, right after me being stranded. That way you guys can check that out. It's like a 7 minute, 25 second video. It's definitely worth the watch. I think it turned out fantastic, the video did. Um, I and, and no restrictions, like seriously typically like Gabe does a video I'll be like, eh, it might not be your thing or whatever. This, this is good. I think you guys would like it. Uh, it was just me and him uh, had some vintage drinks right after. I had a vintage Pepsi, and I uh, can't remember what he had. It was from 1975, I remember that, because the one he had was hardly ever dated, and the one he had was dated, so that was cool. But yeah, definitely go check that video out. Um, I wish I could post a link to it right now. I did make a post on my channel, so if you guys want to go into my actual channel and go back like three or four posts, you'll see... The thumbnail to that video and the the link to that video so it's that that's an easy way to find it um if you guys don't mind hit that thumbs up or down before you take off and uh if you happen to watch this later on please leave a comment hit the thumbs up or down you know how it goes do the youtube algorithm dance for me and uh help me out i guess i am pleading for your help uh subscribe to the channel too if you, if you haven't done that you know, I've said that a few times this time. I typically don't even say that, man. Typically, I, you know, just whatever. But, uh, yeah, thanks everybody who sent in a super chat tonight, by the way. And thank you all for attending and hanging out in this chat. I think we do a, we have a great community built here. Uh, typically, we have anywhere between 500 and 1,000 people, sometimes 2,000 that come through here in the two hours that I'm on here. I know uh, that might not sound like much, but, I think that's a lot of people, um, and they're and they're reliable people that are that stop by just about every Saturday. So that's why I, I try to stay consistent with it. And uh, when I have to take off, sometimes I have to take off. I try to make it up usually, so like on a Sunday or a Monday or something if I can. But all right, guys, I guess uh, I want to say a huge thanks to my patrons as well. I've been meaning to get over on Patreon. I got a new Patreon over there. I have not actually been able to. I've literally had the craziest past week and a half. It's just been nuts. Um, actually, it's been, been almost two weeks, maybe. I don't know. It's just been crazy. Had a lot going on. A lot more than I usually do. Let's just say that. Like, every day. Craziness. So, all right, guys. Thank you guys for attending this live stream tonight. I really, I genuinely do appreciate you guys hanging out. That's not me just saying that. I really mean it. And I hope you guys have a great rest of your weekend. Don't forget about the museum live stream tomorrow. If that's going on, it should be around. He surprises me all the time. Anywhere in between 3 and 5 p.m., I believe. Sometimes he starts early and does them at 3. So between 3 and 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. But, uh, yeah, man, stop by over there on that live stream. I will try to make it to that live stream tomorrow if I don't have something else that I have to do. And uh, hopefully I can hang out and chat with you guys on the museum live stream tomorrow. I will make a post about that. I, I typically always do, and I, as long as I'm home and not uh, super busy. So thank you guys so much for hanging out. And I guess now all i got left to do is say thank you all for watching, and I'll see you on the next live stream. 
Later. Oh, no, wait. Miss Marilyn says he's starting at 3. 3 o'clock tomorrow. Uh, 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Museum live stream. Later.